Hey guys, this is Mike Keenan here. Today I'm going to be going over the physical and the data link layers of the TCP IP model. The physical layer is layer 1 and the data link layer is layer 2 for both the TCP IP and the OSI model. So the data link layer and the physical layers work hand in hand to provide communication across the physical medium, which is the wires from one device to another device on the network. And as you recall from a previous video, we talked about the network layer, how it is layer 3, and its PDU is a packet. In this layer, the PDU is a frame, at least for the data link layer, it's the frame. And for the physical layer, the PDU is the bits and the physical transmission of the wires over the media. So here we have a graphical representation of a, a network. We have a host and a server. And you'll see here the wires are the physical layer and the switches here, those are layer two devices and those represent the data link layer. So as an example, your computer at your house or at your office has a NIC card in it. That is a network interface card. And those are at layer two of the OSI model represented here by the, the host. And the host transmits its data across the wire and the wire is going to be plugged into a switch at layer 2 so it goes from layer 2 to layer 1 back to layer 2 it might get transmitted to another switch and then it might connect to a server all of those are examples of layer 1 and layer 2 communication across a network so as an example we have here a computer and a server and we're going to call the computer Larry and we're going to call the server Bob so Larry has some information given to it from, say, the web browser, which resides in the application layer of the OSI and TCP models. And he's going to take that information. He'll send it down to the transport layer. The transport layer is going to encapsulate that information into what's called a segment then he'll send it down to the network layer where it will get encapsulated in a packet and get source and destination IP address. And then from there, what the NIC card's going to do on it is it's going to process the IP packet and it's going to encode it into a, a frame. And then it'll encode it into the physical transmissions, which as we all know is ones and zeros, binary. And It'll send it to the switch. The switch will look up in its MAC address table to determine which port to forward the information out of. He'll determine that it's this port here. He'll send it over to the router. And remember, the router is a layer 3 device because Larry may be on a different local area network than the server. He probably is. So the router will then, at layer 3, it'll come up the stack. Up to layer 3, the router will decapsulate the frame He'll look at the IP address. He'll send it to the switch over here on this side. The switch will receive the frame that the router has sent to the switch. And then the switch will determine what interface to send it out of. And it'll send it to the server here, which also has a network interface card. And the server will then undo the process to go up the protocol stack, send it to the application, which is going to be something like Apache or NGIX or, or something to that effect. And then it'll respond going the opposite direction to Larry. So it's important to understand the different devices associated with the data link layer and the different mediums and standards associated with the physical layer. So when we talk about switches, we're normally talking about layer two switches. So those are layer two of the TCP and IP model. Bridges are also layer two, as with modems and network interface cards. That doesn't mean that the network interface card can't process a packet at layer three. He does that, but it will, what he'll do is he'll encode it into a frame and then send it across the physical wires and the physical layer will pick it up and at the physical layer we have repeaters, hubs, and cables just to name a few. So we just got done talking about the devices that these standards are associated with. Now let's talk about the protocols and the standards that are employed by each layer. So here at the data link layer we have the spanning tree protocol, the layer 2 tunneling protocol, virtual trunking protocol and the Cisco discovery protocol. All of these are standards or protocols that are at layer two of the TCP IP and OSI models. And then there's the physical layer standards. And when we're talking about the physical layer standards, the majority of the time we're talking about standards that were developed by the Institute of Electronical and Electronics Engineers. And the standards that are defined by them are located in the 802.1 working group. 
So there you have it. That's just a brief overview of the data link and the physical layers of the TCP IP model. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.